welcome to 31st of January's God Be Blessing. The month is coming to an end and we are also going ahead with our beautiful blessings which God is teaching us on a daily basis. And today he's talking about wasteful thoughts which is going to waste a lot of our time, a lot of our energy, a lot of our efforts and make us powerless and even create chaos and make disturbances amongst people and even the team people. Team can be your family members, team can be your job, subordinates, seniors, juniors, team can be your complete team, whether it's a sports team also and other teams too. So wherever there's a group, if there's any kind of wasteful thinking going on between all of you, then God is saying then you are paying a little less attention and that's, and that's going to create a lot of chaos in the coming time. And maybe presently also is creating a lot of chaos. And a lot of time is wasted, the work is not done and we generally become feel tired and lethargic after that. So let us understand what does he have to say. Supreme Creator says, may you finish your account of wastefulness by paying attention and checking yourself what is going on in my mind's eye and thereby become a master almighty authority. That means you can take control of the situation right then and right amongst everybody else. When people are not able to put a full stop to the thoughts of wasteful thoughts, you are able to put a full stop immediately and you are able to turn the complete atmosphere of the whole group around and bring them back on track as compared to going on the wrong track of wasteful thinking. Why, when, what, how. God says in Brahmin life, wasteful thoughts, wasteful words. Thoughts, wasteful thoughts, wasteful words and wasteful actions make you waste a lot of your time. You are not then able to earn as much as you want. Now, this is not about physical earning. It's about having the mental peace, having the mental joy, having the mental power. That is also an earning, which we can do by constantly being in a meditative process while doing our work. Your account of wastefulness does not allow you to become powerful. Therefore, constantly remain aware of this. What is that? I am a master almighty authority. That means at this point of time, I can immediately stop myself from thinking, feeling, acting, speaking, anything wasteful because I am wasting my time and energy. This is time to actually be in a meditative process and work my way towards my daily chores. When you have power, you can do whatever you want, right? Now, this is not about money power or post position power. This is about having spiritual, mental, intellectual power. You simply have to pay attention again and again. At what? What is going on in my mind right now? Am I wasting time? Am I wasting energy? Am I wasting my team's time, my family's time, my family's energy? You, just as you pay attention during class time, that is the spiritual class. And at the time of Amrit Vela, that is four o'clock in the morning when we meditate. In the same way, every now and then, use the method of paying attention and checking yourself. It's not just in the morning or during the class time. Throughout the day also, we can have very impure thoughts or wasteful thoughts, wasteful words and wasteful actions, which we use and then we feel drained out. Why? Because we are pure souls and we use wasteful thoughts, we go away from purity. And to come back to the original state of purity, it takes a lot of effort and that's where we feel drained out or lethargic. Use the method of paying attention and checking yourself and any account of wasteful finish. So throughout the day we have to check, but for that you have to have the knowledge of what is wasteful thoughts. Why don't you come over to Brahma Kumaris and learn about the wasteful thinking, wasteful thoughts, wasteful talking, wasteful energy and actions and make your life more peaceful. By the way, the benefit of removing or eradicating wasteful thoughts is you'll be able to do that work which you take half an hour to do within 10 minutes. Yes, it's an experience, my own personal experience and everybody who's a yogi, they experience in Brahma Kumaris. Do join us and learn this in depth. Om Shanti.